welcome to the Cheeks and Squeaks Spring Cage Tour. I am just going to jump right in and show you my girl Glinda's cage. And after that I will be taking you through my other two girls' cages, uh, Sally and Berlin, and showing you just some of the differences that are in their cages. Up on Glinda's top shelf she has a large flying saucer wheel. Oh, she's peed on it a few times. so. It's got a white cast, but that doesn't seem to bother her. <laughs> she also has a little postage box that I filled with paper crinkles. That's her forage box, so I'll just throw in a handful of seed mix, and she goes and has to find all the pieces, and it keeps her busy. She also has a paper plate, which she loves to shred and play with and flip and do all kinds of silly things. I made Glinda this swing using a cardboard gift box from Dollar Tree. I just used the lid and punched some holes in each of the corners, threaded some paper clips through as you see, and strung it up as a little swing for her. Behind the swing, Glinda has a little bunny rabbit. This is actually a yardstick from Dollar Tree and it just acts as a little climbing frame for her to get up to the next level. You also see a cute playhouse. This is the Lil Woodsy's Tickle My Taste Buds Bakery. It's available at Target and I've linked it below. I've removed all of the small parts from the inside except for what you see in the windows and those are protected by a layer of plastic and a layer of paper so she can't get to them. This is one of my favorite dollar store hacks for this time of year. This is a jumbo Easter egg and I've just taken a hole saw but you could use a soldering iron or an X-Acto knife to cut out a large hole and made a little sand bath. Some of them I also use as little houses and you'll see that in the next cage. This is another good one from Dollar Tree. It's just a kitchen towel that I sewed in half and added grommets in the corners. I strung it up to the bottom of the shelf using shower curtain rings also purchased at Dollar Tree. You'll see a few of these throughout some of the other cages. This is a super cute plastic basket from Dollar Tree. I just zip tied it to the side of the cage and it acts as a little level or hangout for Glinda. I've shown this sand bath in a few other cage tours. This is a Fortiflex mini pan and I've added a tin bucket to the inside. The first thing I want to talk about here is this platform. It is absolutely perfect. For hamsters. It is from Ikea. It's called the Varia Shelf Insert and they have two sizes. This is the larger size. They have one that's about half the width. It is so great and I love it. Um, on top you see a little wooden sign that says spring. I bought this at Michael's last year on clearance. I don't know if they have them this year. You also see another little woodsies toy from Target. It is the little flower shop and I've also linked that below. I talked about this guy in my last cage tour. It is the IKEA Fluns. It is a great alternative to the IKEA Nuff. It comes in a pack of four for a dollar, and they just are really great shreddable hideouts, and all of my girls nest in them. This is the bottom of the box that I used for the swing. I just punched holes and zip tied it to the cage to act as another level. Super, super cute. This is a little jar from Ikea. It is called the Four Bar. It is about four or five dollars and it acts as a little sand bath um, that is more enclosed and my girls really love them. Okay, let's dive into some of the differences in Berlin's cage. Berlin has a little hideout up here. This is the Little Woodsies Hair Salon, also purchased at Target and also linked below. Next to it there is a tulip shaped wood cutout that I bought at Michael's along with the spring sign so again I don't know if they have them this year. This is a super cute tin bucket that I found at Dollar Tree. Berlin really likes to groom herself inside of it. I found this plastic fruit basket at Target for a dollar. I just flipped it upside down and made a cutout to be a house. This is another easy hack from Dollar Tree. It is a large food storage container. I just flipped it upside down, made a large cutout, and it acts as a cute, spacious house. <music> Last 
lastly, I'm going to take you through some of the differences in Sally's cage. Up on the top shelf, I have a large ceramic birdhouse that I believe was bought at Home Goods a few years ago. Sally is growing fast, so she has a 12 inch silent spinner. The little car is from the Little Woodsies Happy Camper playset, and she really loves climbing on it. And lastly, here is a good look at the cute Easter egg houses that Sally and Berlin have. These cages are really never done for me, so I did end up adding a few things after I filmed this video. This garland is from Target in the party section. This is a little ceramic food dish from Goodwill. And this is another little ceramic food dish from Goodwill. And that's it. That's our whole cage. The girls really love it.